tonight's smoke of the evening in a cello or cello wrapper, whatever you want to call it, is Rocky Patel Valador. It's something to do with uh, promoting the NRA. Hope it doesn't have any gunpowder taste in it. And let's unwrap it. Twist the end a little bit. Squeeze it out. And it's a good looking band. A lot of decoration. Hopefully it uh, smokes as good as it looks. Anyways, I'm going to put the Bunsen burner to this uh, outside. Take a few drags and let you know how it starts up. Trim the end. Got a pretty neat trim. It started to come apart a little bit, so I give it a give it the old lick jab to get that thing laying down right. Then what I like to do is on the band. This is a double band. I like to just start the band with my fingernail, just pull it apart just a little bit. I like to leave the band on while I'm smoking, and then as I get closer down, I like to take the band off. But if I don't start the band, I have a, sometimes I have a hard time finding the edge to get it started. And the first thing you know, I'm playing and the cigar is going like this and the ashes start falling all over me. So just get it started a little bit. So next is light up. Lit up uh, very nice. This is about, uh, what, uh, five and a half, six inch cigar. First draw on it, very mild, starting to burn very easy. And let me read a little review about the Rocky Patel Valador. It, it, it is exclusively made for the NRA, National Rifle Association. It has a gorgeous reddish brown Sumatra wrapper from Ecuador with a Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan and Honduran filler tobaccos. The Valador is a medium to full bodied cigar. I agree with that. With loads of rich, complex flavors. Mm -hmm. It's there. Consisting of sweet spice, white pepper, dark chocolate, and Hints of leather. Well, I don't know about the leather. Maybe we'll come across it somewhere in here. A little bit of leather. Well, so far, no gunpowder. But a nice start to an evening of a great smoke. Hopefully it'll be a great smoke. Anyways, we'll get back. Well, working on my Rocky Patel Valador. And <clears throat> I have to tell you, this is an excellent smoke. Uh, enjoy it very much. It has, uh, let's take a look again. What's in it? Full, um, full bodied cigar, loads of rich complex flavors consisting of sweet spice, white pepper, dark chocolates, and hints of leather. Well, I think I even caught a little hint of leather getting halfway down. <clears throat> Anyways, highly recommended cigar. I got the first band off and I'm down to the second band. I leave the bands on, especially I like the uh, double banded cigar because it holds the leaf together. Because sometimes, you know, I'm smoking it or you'll be smoking it and you're rolling it in your fingers and suddenly the leaves start separating. Well, the banding holds the leaves together. And uh, then you just take the bands off as you work your way down. And that way, you don't have to worry about the uh, cigar coming apart. And I have my uh, Merlot, my cheap Merlot, with my cigar. I always like uh, three quarters of the Merlot and one quarter of white. That's just my mixture I care for. But I got to tell you a story while we're hanging out here under the uh, light and the ceiling fan. So, <clears throat> I was uh, working as a day laborer, 
Yeah. Day labor. Well, you know, most people start off at the bottom, right? At the bottom. And they work their way up to the top. Well, I did it in reverse. I started at the top and worked my way down to the bottom as a day laborer. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it happens to people. So anyways, I was uh, in a group of people who were day laborers. And uh, the leader of the group said, now <clears throat> we're going to go travel a couple hundred miles and uh, we're going to a supermarket. And what you're going to do is you're going to do inventory. So you got this machine in your hand and you're going to click off all the products uh, on the gondola. I said, you got to start from one end of the gondola and you work your way to the other end of the gondola. So are all you people up to taking this trip to work in the supermarket and taking inventory? I thought about it and I told the guy, I said, no, I'm not going on this trip. Well, he didn't ask me why he could care less. I'm day labor, you know, get me, he can get rid of me anytime he wants. So I walked out. Well, this is the reason why I didn't take this particular job in day labor. Because he says, we're working on these gondolas. And I thought to myself, what the hell is a gondola? I said, do they have canals in this supermarket? We're going up and down? I said, I, I couldn't figure out. I said, I'm not going on a job where I can't figure out what a gondola is. All I know is a gondola. They got these gondolas in Venice, right? And I couldn't picture a gondola in a supermarket, uh, a boat going up and down the aisle. Now, if the guy said, we will be going up and down the aisle doing inventory, I would understand them. But when he said, we're going to take the inventory on the gondolas, I said, man, <laughs> this ain't going to work out at all. So that's my story of I almost went to work on a gondola. Well, gondolas to me are close to Shinola. And that's my little story on the day I almost went to work. <laughs>